On this episode, we almost certainly aren't having a stroke. We own up to our mistakes. Math is hard. Don't, don't stress me out like this. I'm doing my best. But most importantly, we stay humble. I'm in hyper mode. I'm feeling like God. Oh, oh, it's blinking. It's blinking. Oh. Mmm. Hi everybody, this is Christian from LazyDevs Academy. Welcome to episode 94 of our advanced mod tutorial. Let's do the gameplay stuff real quick. <laughs> After 90 episodes, we're doing the scoring. This tells you how much of a priority it is for game making. Well, I don't know. It's just like the right moment to do it right now. And you have to remember that programming, scoring and stuff like that, the programming itself is not difficult, but uh, figuring out how to make it work and, and balancing and that is the difficult part. All right, so today we are going to do scoring mechanism or like the core scoring mechanism of our game. Uh, I'm going to give you a brief summary of, of what we're trying to do. So when you engage, like we have already some scoring, right? We can get, we get points for shooting down enemies. We get more points when you shoot down enemies from close range. Now, when we trigger a hyper mode, right, then uh, what happens then is whenever you uh, shoot down an enemy, that score not, not, doesn't only just get added to your points, but also it gets added to like the star value. There is like a value associated with star pickups and that uh, shooting down enemies will increase their star value by how, many, how, many, how much uh, you know, that enemy is worth. And then also enemies will spawn stars. And then you also get stars by bombing projectiles, the bullets, right? Uh, and so all of those stars, when you pick them up, you get as much score as the currently the star is worth. And we had like different uh, variations in prototyping, but I think the best variation that's that I think I've, I've kind of like settled down on at this point is um, the star value increases and you keep getting stars and you keep whenever you pick up star, you just get as much points as that star was worth at that point when you picked it up. <laughs> When you put it in words, it feels like a bit, you know, convoluted, but it's like very clear when you play it. You trigger the hyper mode, a star value ticks up and you just keep collecting all those stars and racking up a huge score. So let us, um, hmm, this is going to be a bit difficult because we have to, we have to track of a, a lot of things, but let me scroll down to the hyper part. We're going to need, uh, because we're going to need some, um, let me, let me add, add another, let's, let's do a score scoring uh, because I need to add in a new variable here that is going to be star value let's go star val and we're going to start at zero so this is going to be very important when we start the hyper the star value uh, we need to we have a star value that's, that's the thing that's going to be ticking up um, and then we, let's go also star count uh, and that is also going to be zero that is I just want to keep track of how many stars have been picked up during a uh, a hyper run and then what I want to do because we don't have any UI we're gonna also do UI today but uh, right now I want to be focusing more on, uh, on on getting the mechanics straight so what we're gonna do here is an update function here and when we're debugging it we're just gonna put everything in debug here debug to equals star val debug three equals star, star count. And also I will grab these out because haha, you see when we start the hyper, when we start the hyper, that's where I also want to re reset all of those things. I want to say reset star value to zero and we want to reset star count to also zero. Okay, okay. And then we can immediately start doing stuff. When we hit the enemy and when we kill the enemy, this is where we spawn the pickups. This is where we get the score, right? So we're gonna go if hyper then, and then here we want to increase, we want to increase the star value by the hyper. Star val plus equal um, hyper. No, no, what, what am I talking about? <laughs> this we just like i wonder if it makes sense because this is how much this is six tokens holy cow so let's go local scr equals 
and then we can do like SCR, SCR. I don't know if that's it because hmm, it's, hmm. how much did that cost? It's fine, it's fine. It's probably it's going to be. So yeah, if we are in a hyper, the star value keeps increasing, and then that's not it. Then of course, <laughs> we when we pick up a star, uh, we want to now uh, get the star value. So let, let me let me copy this on because these are going to be crucial. Uh, let, let me put them here so all of the all of the because these are quite important uh, and also wait oh yeah just that's, that's where we activate hyper so maybe we should hmm, never mind um mm, 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 there we go do pickups this is where we pick up the pickup um so here for now it only gives us charge and it's kind of weird that you get picking up the cows and the cows don't give you anything maybe you get the cow should give you some points um, but we're gonna go if p dot star is it star star okay if p star then um, score plus equal yeah plus equal star val and then star count uh, plus equal and the star count is really just like for info I think it's good to know how many stars you've picked up I think this gives you like a because the the only problem with this type of scoring is that once you go through a hyper sequence you never get like a tally of how much score you got during that hyper you don't get like a oh this was worth that many points in total like we could do that but it's i don't know how best to convey that like flashing it on the screen will cover up the action flashing it in the corner it's like you have to explain what that means it's 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 difficult to communicate this in a in a in a sense that that everybody gets it but i think just counting the stars is, is going to be okay i think that's not something that we can figure out uh right yes Okay, so we have done those numbers here. Those numbers are not increasing currently. Now I'm in hyper mode. And you can see how, oh, this, right, the star value, <laughs> the star value is a weird star value. I mean, let me, let me, okay. Let me start also at a different position now. Uh, there's lots of things that we have to figure out. So let's, let's start at zero. Let's start from the beginning, bro. Um, and then, yeah, when we're printing the star value, do we have to, we have to, uh, yeah, let's do it differently. Um, this is update, let's just draw a function. How do we do this? How do we print that weird value? Streaks, pickups, ship, and anyway, it's GUI, there we go. Uh, Twister, Twister, okay, let's, let's get this one out. Uh, so the star val, this is the one that we want to actually, oop, jeebus, like this. So we're converting it to a, like a value that we can actually read. Okay. Whoop, where did that snake come from? I think I, 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 I broke it a little bit. All right, so here we're, we're getting the stuff. And you can see 2700 as the current star value. Okay, there is one thing that I want to change, and that is uh, I noticed that when we are in hyper mode, we always want to spawn a star when we when we kill an enemy. It doesn't matter how close we are. Usually, we have to get very close to the enemy for the enemy to spawn the star. Um, but in hyper mode, we're gonna be a, bit, a lot more lenient with that. You still get rewarded for killing enemies at close range because you get more score into the star value, uh, but you just get more stars. Um, and this is maybe a little bit excessive. This is maybe a little bit excessive, but we're gonna see. So cows, cows equals if hyper then cows equals max one cows. Something like this. Or actually, let's do it like this. If hyper then cows equals. Oh, oh no, no, we're gonna do it here. 
hyper and one or zero. Perfect. So cows will start with one and it will get overridden by whatever is here. If we're uh, far away from the enemy, then we're not resetting the cow, so it will stay at one when it's hyper. And then it will get overridden by whatever the enemy is dropping. I feel like we messed up the sound effects. I have to look up the sound effect. I think there might be a sound effect that we referenced in explosions. And I think we messed it up. Yeah, we're getting... So this was 2020 and we got nine stars. Okay, good. Yeah, let me see Let me see if we messed up the, the explosion. So I think the problem is that we, re we replaced this sound effect. That is sound effect number one. And I think we're referencing it here. Yeah, that, that's why it sounds a little bit weird at the beginning. So we need to take this sound effect. I'm gonna put it in a free spot. That's here, 58. And then it is a little bit chaotic, but this sound effect, uh, we have to replace it with an old one. Let me see if I can grab it. It's, it's weird because it's also an explosion, but it's referenced here. And that's how, but I, I think it doesn't, it's, it's really, I think it's just really like those two first uh, notes that are really, really referenced because it's used as a sound effect. I don't know. It's kind of like this, <laughs> we experiment so much to, to make the sound work. If we kind of like, it's difficult for, for, for me to kind of like reverse engineer how exactly this works and to simplify it and boil it down. It's fine. It works. So now, now that just means that when we, uh, when we shoot hyper, uh, we need to uh, issue sound effect 58. Okay, so here, uh, 58. Yeah. Yeah, and we have stars coming out of uh, every enemy, even if we're far away. I think that makes sense. That makes stars a lot more prominent. It makes you understand how better how everything works. And also, I notice I find myself already sucked into the game. I just want to play the game, uh, which is a very good sign. I mean, it was already there for quite a long time, but now it's like really, it's just like I just let me play the game. All right, and as I said, that's it. That's the gameplay. That's the scoring. <laughs> We've done it, boys. But of course, the actual mechanics of scoring are not difficult. The difficult part is how to communicate this to the player. So now we need to take all these debug values and we need to uh, create like a UI for it. Uh, I haven't done a mock-up of this yet. I probably have to sit down for a second and do like proper mock-up to make it like look really nice. I just want to have like a intermediate step. Like I just want to have something that looks okay, that looks kind of like a stuff looked in my prototype. And then we're going to iterate from there. And then we're going to see what th things need to change and so forth. Okay. So let me, let me get this stuff out. Let me just remove all of the debug stuff here. We don't need that stuff anymore. Boop. Go away. So let us go one by one and add all of the elements that we need to add. So I'm going to write down the things that we need to add. By the way, let's let's check the to-do list. Star scoring mechanism is there. Okay, we're gonna have to do do these later on, but for now, let's 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 focus on UI for scoring. So we need to have a charge bar. I want to have percentage bar for how much how far the charge is along. I want to have a very important star value. Uh, but uh, before the star value, or like, like because I want to go from top to bottom, I want to also include a little um, a score history. I think it's called score history, um, which basically every time you, because it's kind of difficult to follow how much you got. You see the number of your score, but you don't see how much it increased, right? So uh, quite often what, what video games will do, they will list out all of the additions, recent additions to the score. So kind of like a score history, basically, right? Like how much has the score increased in previous seconds, right? Um, we don't have the t space to do like a whole list, although that would be cool. Like in Devil Blade, for example, had something like this. Um, but I think just adding like what recent score you got, like just the, the recent score that you got, I think that would be nice. 
Um, then also I want to obviously star value and like a big number that shows you how much uh, the star is currently worth. I think that's very important. And then we're gonna have a little star count indicator on, on the bottom. All right, so let us start doing these things. Now, for, off the bat, um, I want to avoid as many of those poke statements as I can. So I want to, everything that is written in the large font, I wanna put in this here, okay? Um, this is gonna be score. Uh, this is going to be lives. Uh, and then here we're going to do the star value. So this is going to be star value in here. And then when we reset, we can draw other things. This is where we, okay, this is going to be star value and then something, something. And then when we reset, I want to do here, um, this is going to be the score history and star count. That's what, that's what I want to do down there. <clears throat> so let us start maybe with a charge bar. I think that's a cool thing to start with. So we're gonna go uh, rect, uh, we're gonna go, go to two. Um, the width, I think I had it at 42. Um, so it means needs to, I need, uh, 43, I think we need to go 43. Let's, let's just go like this, whatever. And then the height, uh, we want to have one, two, three, four, five, right? So five plus two, seven. <laughs> Man, I'm getting really confused with this rect drawing because it's always like this one off arrow. Let's see how that looks. Yay, that looks fine. And then uh, let's do a line in there. So it's like three, three, uh, I don't know, 33, just like a, like, like a test line to see how, how a line looks in that. Uh, that, that's completely wrong. Okay, 4-4 four, four then. Okay, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Like 4-4, four, 7-yes. Four, yeah, yes. yeah, okay, uh, but I want to... Uh, I, I guess it's, 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 not, it's not 7, it's 5. Should, it should be 5 then. No. Uh, <laughs> <sick. laughs> Math is hard. Don't, don't stress me out like this. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Okay, so this is good. So now we're drawing this little little percentage bar. Obviously, that percentage bar is not it's not displaying anything, right? So let us figure out how much it would have to display. Mm, let me think about this. So here is charge, charge max, right? We're gonna use charge max in case we, we change something about this. We we want to reference the charge max. So so that is gonna be something like four plus charge max uh, or charge divided by charge max uh, multiplied by the width of the of the thing and that is going to be like 44 i'm not like actually sure um 42 oh, could be 42 uh, I, I don't know let's try to try 42 okay i mean that that's halfway right and you can see it's going up so let us start with zero. Let's see what charge um, charge zero looks like. Okay, we have one dot. I think that's okay. I don't think the charge has disappeared completely. I think that's okay. Um, because like, yeah, I, I we don't. It's fine. And then I want to see what maximum charge looks like. Oh, that's that's way bad. That's way bad. That's not good. We multiplied by too much. Let's go with forty. Nope, let's go with 39, uh, 38, uh, almost 39, uh, 37. <laughs> oh, there we go, 37 is the correct number. Okay, good. So this is now fully charged. And then, so I want to add a little um, indic indicator, indic indicator Rooney when uh, on, uh, to indicate you know, where the threshold is at which you can start bombing. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's just do one like here. So that is gonna be, it's gonna be something, right? It's gonna be like 23. We're gonna figure this out experimentally. We could make it, uh, you know, make it uh, numbers driven and maybe that we should do that, but this is just like a, pre maybe also just like a preliminary, pre 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 preliminary uh, UI thing, so. 
Oh, this is halfway charged now. Okay, good. Sick. Uh, another thing I also want to do is if the, the charge is, is, if there is a bomb charge, then we're gonna go if, uh, and actually I'm I will use a, um, is it draw? Is it draw, right? Okay, I'm I will use a, a variable for it because I think it's useful to have a variable for this. Um, so, because we'll be checking it multiple times. Um, so I'm gonna call it has bomb uh, and we're gonna call it false, right? And then here in the update function, somewhere here, for example, um, we can do like a has bomb equals a charge greater equals charge thirst. And so here, for example, where we're checking if the charge is greater than charge thirst, we can just check for if has bomb. And also for this, I want to maybe uh, put this above here. Something like here, maybe options. Let's just put it here. Okay, so now here we're checking if we have a bomb, and if we have a bomb, then hyper on. Um, and then we're gonna see if, if there's, if we're using this somewhere else. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, and that allows us to here, I mean, it's a little thing, but if has bomb, then, right? So we don't have to do like this, this equation. Um, so if we, if has bump is true, then I want to print uh, a little ready message uh, right underneath. Um, for now, I want to always print it. Uh, well, I, uh, I, we started with 200 anyway, so we should have the has bump anyway. Uh, and we're gonna put it on two and then seven, right? So let, let's, let's see how that looks, ready. Okay, that's good. And now I want to blink it. R and D seven six. Right, so it's blinking now, indicating that it's ready. Uh, if has bump and not hyper. Maybe we should have it like, so if, if hyper, nah, it's fine, it's fine. In fact, maybe something I wanna do as well is I wanna go uh, local flash or a flash call equals seven. And then if, if has bump, then flash call equals R and D this so so there's like a color that we have that is the flashing color basically and then we're gonna use that color to print the ready and then we're gonna use that color to so the line even flashes right so so we have a bit of a we have a bit of a it's clear what is ready right there we go so now you see that the line is flashing so it's clear that that why it's ready, right? The, the, the percentage bar is, is indicating that. Oh, for a second there we got ready there. Oh, weird, huh? No, it's fine. Okay, this is the charge bar. This is the charge bar, bar done. Let us move on to the... Uh, let's, let's do the score history because that's kind of like um, one underneath. So we're gonna have something like scoring. Uh, we're gonna call it last score uh, and we're gonna set it to zero and then when we get some score so for example here on the gameplay uh, here when we get the gameplay all, all the way up here when we hit enemy right um, here's where we're getting the score and then we're gonna go uh, last score equals SCR, right? Just like getting the, the last score here. Uh, this will not include getting the stars. It will just not. 
because you always see, you technically always see how much you score, you get score from getting the scars, right? So that that's not necessary. Um, so we're gonna go if last score is greater than zero, then, and then it's gonna be very very similar. I mean, yeah, sure, it's gonna be very similar to a print statement. Um, we're gonna print something. We're gonna print last score, uh, but obviously it needs to be the two string of the last score. Um, because it's a weird, it's a weird, this weird formatting that we're using here, and then like this, okay. And then also we need to, I, I'd like to put a little uh, plus in here, and also maybe here, lo, uh, local uh, txt equals, so we put it in a, in a variable first. And we put it in a variable first so we can uh, left justify it, right justify it, um, because we want to put it right underneath the actual score. The actual score is here, where we are we printing this, 126 minus in the length, and the position uh, is two. So uh, the y position is two. So here is we're gonna have to, let's put it at eight. We're gonna see how eight looks. And then 126 minus, um, hashtag txt um, multiplied by four, right? Uh, and we're going to see see what 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 what, what pop, what's popping. Hey, it's not too bad. I mean, we only see a plus. Oh yeah, because we have to do that. that. Okay, it needs to be one pixel to the right, so one hundred twenty-seven. And also, it's fine to put it at it's, it's color seven. That's okay. And also, it's we have to put it a little bit down, so it's like ten. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. And it's maybe a little bit. There's no drop shadow happening. We have to maybe figure out how to best to format it. But I just want to have the elements here and here, right? So it's you can have a little bit of a feedback of how much that last enemy was worth. Okay, so this is good. And then we do the star value. So this is only something that is only visible if hyper is on. And we're gonna actually do, uh, uh, we're gonna reuse this variable. So then we're gonna my str equals add space. We're gonna use all these things that we already have here. Uh, we're gonna add space, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but not to score, but to star val. To star well, okay, and then we're gonna do sh the sprint. Uh, I'm gonna print this always for 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 now, uh, just to, so I can get get a bearing of of where exactly it's positioned. Like the positioning of stuff on the screen <laughs> using numbers is always uh, so awkward. Um, so it's 10 plus 6, it should be maybe like 17. And we're gonna see, oh yeah, and also the color. I wanted to have actually use the yellow color for this, so we're gonna go with 10. So, because it's a star, right? So I want to indicate that it's, it's different. Okay, you see now, I would maybe put it a little bit higher. Well, I'm not exactly sure, because actually I want to, because it's, it looks a little bit just like, it's just like a number floating in space. It's maybe not clear maybe what the number is referring to. So what I want to maybe do, just in, instead of just writing out, this is the value of the star, uh, what I want to do is maybe do like a, a MSPR. Uh, I want to draw the actual star. Mm, what is the, oh, I haven't written down. What is the, what is the number of the star? 61. So I want to draw 61. Uh, what location should it go? Uh, 120 and wait, that's that's wrong. <laughs> I don't want to put it in here. I want to put it here. Um, 120 and 17. Yeah, let's go 17 or 16. Let's go 16. Uh, and then we're gonna see how that looks. Uh, yeah, that's too high. See, it's overlapping. So let's go 19. Okay, that's still too high, uh, 21. See, this is good now. So that means this, the actual number, the, the star number has to go to like 19. Yeah, that seems correct. But also it needs to go further down right. Nope. 
Okay, too far. Uh, okay. Yeah, that seems okay. Okay, so let's let's see how. Yes. Okay, I'm not getting the star value. <laughs> I was wondering why is the star value not going up? Yes. Okay, the value is now stays it remains because we're no longer in hyper mode. Okay, but 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 it's good. It's good. We're getting there. So now we can put it in hyper. No, this was good. The only problem is the hyper went out, and now I don't see how much. I accumulate it, right? I will, I'm so focused on a hyper. And so I want to kind of like, I want the star value to linger uh, beyond the hyper. So I, I like, after the hyper is over, I can like glance over and see how much, how, how high I was able to push the star value. So maybe we need, we need a bit of a, a lingering, like like the star value has to linger a little bit. Uh, but for before we do that, let me do the star count. So we're going to do the same check that we had here. And we're going to do a very similar approach. I wonder if we can maybe... Nah. Um, so we are going to... What's, what is the star? There we go. Star. And then two string. Uh, we don't need to do the... Oh, we might, hmm. I'm not sure if we need the two string here. It's just it's just a num normal number. The y position needs to be nineteen. Uh, so let's go like twenty five. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then it's probably going to be something like five. We need a little bit more of a space because the star, this star character here, this is a little bit wider than a normal character. Uh, let's see how this works. No, actually, nah. let's let's set both to true. So we see immediately. Yeah, yeah okay. So we immediately know that. Wait, why was it? That, that's odd. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Positioning stuff. Okay, this is good. No. Yes. Okay, so let's go hyper. And star count is greater than zero. So we only show it if you actually get a star. Because I don't, don't like how you you don't... And then, you, you know, see, you see the star count counting up. That's good, that's what we want. Ah, super good. Okay, so now we want to maybe add this lingering part where the, the star... Um, star count lingers beyond the hyper being on screen, okay? So what I was thinking about, what I was thinking about is that we have a, like a countdown timer that ticks down and we reset the countdown timer while hyper is still going on. Um, we're gonna do that. We're gonna check where hyper is happening. So for example, if, mm, oops, don't wanna do this. Yeah, maybe here. Here would be good. So we're gonna go, let's call it linger equals uh, 400 or something like, like that. Huh? And then, here for the hyper, we're gonna call linger equals zero, something like this. And then here when we, so when the hyper is on, the linger is get set to 400. When hyper turns off, um, the linger will remain at 400, but we're gonna count down the, the linger. So we're gonna go like if linger is greater than zero instead of hyper. Uh, and then also here, if linger is greater than zero, and then we're gonna count down the linger, linger minus equal one. Uh, and, and so it will count down, but you know, uh, in the update function, we'll get reset to 400. And then once the hyper is off, the linger will count down and will not get reset. And that's that's how we get that's how we get there. That's what I'm thinking. 
Alright, so we have the Hyper. Now let's get killed. Eventually. Okay. 400 was way too much. It needs to be like half that much. Okay, so Hyper's on. I'm gonna get killed. Okay, now it disappears. That seems good. That was that was a good amount of time. Um, now, uh, something I also wanted to maybe do, <laughs> I, know, I know, this is crazy, um, is when Hyper is no longer on, I want maybe these things to blink so it's clear that that we're, that it's Hyper, like that, that it's going away, that's about, about to go away, right? So we're gonna do something like if Hyper or and then we're gonna do one of those modulo things again. Uh, I figured out T modulo four and smaller than three. This is, this is again, something that you figure out by just trying different numbers, just like what kind of blinking frequency feels good. I figured out this one was okay. And so uh, if hyper is on, then we're absolutely drawing stuff. And if hyper is not on, then we need to check against the uh, the current frame and do a modulo. And if it's smaller than three, then we're gonna do a bit of a flashing. And the flashing is just uh, really fast. Okay, let's activate this. So we see now it's this solid. And then I'm gonna bump out, and you can see now a little bit of a flashing, so it kind of like feels like it's going away. This feels alright, this feels good. Already having fun with this game. <laughs> yes! Alright, so UI for scoring is kind of fin finished. This is just a preliminary version, and we're gonna we're gonna figure out you know, like a, maybe like a glam up later on, but I think this for now is good. I wanna maybe address the hyper end warning and the bomb ready indicator stuff. Um, or no, let's get the bomb ready indicator first because I think this is this is more clear. So here the idea is that when a bomb is ready, I want to have some kind of visual indicator that the bomb is ready. Uh, and, or like the hyper is ready, it's not actually bomb, right? Uh, and I was thinking maybe putting something on the player ship. This is already very, very, very packed, but let, let, me, let me cook a little bit. Um, so here is where we're changing the color of the outline, right? Then if hyper is on, then this is happening. And then else. Else if uh, has bomb and T modulo, and again, we have to look up uh, eight is smaller than four, so this frequency, uh, then we're gonna flash the outline white. So this will give us the indicator that the bomb's ready. And again, this... Oh. No, actually, do we want to flash it white? Yeah, we made, maybe you want to flash it exactly the same colors that you see in the in the main UI. That makes more sense. So it's like six, seven. Uh, it's like this, right? So we start out with having the bomb. So this this tells us that we are ready. We we are charged and ready to go. We can now trigger the bomb, and then I'm gonna trigger the bomb, and we now have a solid white outline with a with a glow. And now we're back to just blue. Now this means that we are not powered on. We need to uh, load the charge, and then some of the. <laughs> Erratic enemy spawns are just a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do level design very soon. It's gonna be super nice. All right. So, so now we're charging again. Now we are like there's an indicator that we are charged up and ready to go. And then and then we can go into hyper mode. Perfect. So this clears up the bomb ready indicator. Now I also wanted to have like a hyper end warning. So if we're in hyper and the hyper is about to run out, I want a warning. I want to issue a warning to the player that ooh, ooh something is happening. And so we're gonna do this in here. And I, I, I was thinking of how to best do this. Um, it's, this is gonna be awkward, but if we're gonna do something like if charge is smaller than, uh, I wrote down 40 is, is a good, good threshold. Then we're gonna do one flashing. And then if charge, else if charge is smaller than 80, then 
Um, so if it's 40, then it's really urgent. If it's 80, it's kind of urgent. So it's I want to, this flashing to increase as as the charge is dep depleting. And we, uh, we could do this also mathematically, but uh, that's that's hard. That's hard. I'm I'm hard. I'm give me give me give me a break. So we're gonna go if team uh, for the fast flashing. I, I wrote down numbers experimentally. So if t if um, this is going to be rapid flashing, so we're gonna white flash like this. And then here we're gonna white flash a little bit less frequently, um, so eight four, so um, half as fast. Let's try this. So now I'm charged up. I'm ready to, to go. My outline is blinking, meaning that I can go. I can good go anytime. I could go anytime. I'm gonna go now. I'm hypering. I'm hypering. I'm in hyper mode. I'm in hyper mode. I'm feeling like God. Oh oh, it's blinking. It's blinking. Oh. It's blinking, it's blinking, it's blinking, blinking. It's good. The blinking went away because I picked up a lot of uh, items and the items uh, pulled me up again. That's interesting to see. Let's try this again. It might be also good to have an uh, audible indicator for this, but yeah, it's great. I saw the blinking now, so it was very clear that I was about to run out. Let me, let me try it one more time. Ah, oh, so sick. 15 stars. Ah, oh, all of the information is available for me. Ha ha ha. I know everything. I know everything. Yes. Oh, let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. The 4X. Yes. And then bomb out. Oh, there was no bullets on the screen, but whatever. I want to check something. What happens if I bomb an enemy? Did I, did I get a... Oh, I got stars out of him. That's something that we need to, need to keep in mind. Okay, no, I do want stars to appear. Never mind, never mind. All right, this fixes the hyper end warning. There's one last thing that is, that is left for us to do that is gonna be the direct bomb. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe doing the direct bomb and also, um, yeah, all the all little stuff, let, let, letting go of the buttons um, for, uh, for the menu stuff. Uh, a better way to center text, maybe. I save any high score to the uh, to the to the disk, basically. Um, uh, updating them, my SPR and other editors. Oh, maybe creating muscle flashes. Ah, these are like little things. There's not much left here. So there's gonna be a bit of a cleanup episode next time around. We're gonna go through all of these things that we've written down. We also go through the um, uh, master plan, and we're gonna see what's left because it seems like we have the game. It, this is. The game's working, so we can start making the level design. Ooh, that's gonna be exciting. But first, we have to do one more episode of cleaning up. And this is the point at the end of each episode where I say a big thank you and a huge shout out to all the people who <laughs> who've been accompanying me on this journey, who've been supporting me on this journey to create this incredible, incredible game. Uh, we are, we are, this is, this is, the, this is the real end game now. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to support my city stuff as well, you can check it out at uh, uh, coffee.com slash laziness is the address where you can check it out. And also, as always, I want to read out a comment. Uh, this is from Mott Vidana on episode 85. Been enjoying the discussions on the more in-depth mechanics. What's the style that you're going for? I haven't watched all of the old ones, but I remember you saying you did research on Aspirate and you were implementing Cancel. So there's cave stuff right there, but your bullet patterns give me psycho vibes in the speed. Well, they're not that fast, but they give me psycho vibes energy, LOL. Uh, that's a very good question. I initially started out, that's true. I initially started out looking a lot at cave stuff. I want to maybe do something bullet hell e um, during the design of the of the game it's kind of like I kind of drifted more towards of a, of a classic schmuck kind of feel more and more classic -y. I think psycho is like the 1942 kind of games these are a little bit fast but yeah right now the game is a little bit less uh, uh, bullet helly and during prototyping we also removed a lot of stuff that would be good for bullet health for example like the slowdown we actually don't have slowdown anymore so the game is a little bit somewhere in between which is fine I think probably better in the long run because we don't have such a high resolution and we don't have that much CPU to support you know huge amount of bullets so so working with a smaller amount of bullets and which are maybe a little bit faster might be a good idea I mean one of the things I've been looking at is stuff like um, GGLS3 which is very classic in, in, the, in terms of feel I don't want the bullets to be incredibly fast I want something this is some kind of like a you know soft spot in between there generally like th this idea that you're going into a game with a certain idea and you just execute on that that's not something I can 
do because I'm not that of an expert in creating shmups. I'm not even that of an expert in make in playing shmups. I think maybe somebody like Nectain like would maybe have a way better idea of what kind of feel he wants to create because I lack that kind of instinct. I have to figure it out as I go. I kind of like have to I have to find it through the prototyping. And yeah, that's where we are kind of arriving. Yes, yes, yes. So is the next episode going to be the last episode? We're going to find out next time around, guys. Bye-bye.